A lot of people do not know who we are. I'm sure that they will be shocked as to how we managed to discover the details of this very meeting that they had in Mina to try to stop IPOB, to try to blunt our charge and our march towards our freedom, which they now recognize is relentless. They have decided that the best way to go is through the so-called traditional rulers and also some, should I say PG, President Generals of some communities in our land. They will give them money and they will sign a document for them. That document will read that they are signing up to defend one Nigeria along with their communities. This is what is happening now. That is also the reason why the two corrupt individuals that I mentioned in Owaza, in Opa West local government area of Abia State, where they were harboring terrorists in our forests, the army visited them a few days ago, the zoo army, the Fulani army went to go and see them, to encourage them and to tell them that they will do all they can to defend their so-called communities and also their Jews that they have now recruited to go and defend the Fulanis or the remnants of them in harboring themselves or should I say hiding in the bushes of those communities. This is to let Ojozo Kalo know that we understand all that transpired at Babangida's residence in Mina and the efforts to corrupt our traditional rulers to bring shame and dishonor to our people that you know very very well we are going to resist we are going to resist it wasn't my intention to touch upon this very subject this evening but i have chosen to do so in order not only to put the record straight but to put this very matter to bed i understand i don't know what may be the motivation that the chief whip of the senate dr joseph carlo has said that if given the chance to speak with me as the leader of IPOB all over the world, indigenous people of Biafra, that the idea of Biafra will be dropped. This is not only an insult to myself, it is an insult to the memory of my parents and also an insult to the over 5 million people that have died in the quest to restore Biafra. And this insult will not be taken lightly. We have not asked nor have we sent anybody to go and discuss nor negotiate on our behalf we are not interested in negotiating with anybody the only negotiation i will allow myself to be privy to or attend will be the negotiations to determine the boundaries of biafra and of course to sign the instruments of statehood apart from that i have not sent anybody I will not be sending anybody. We remain determined and resolute in our pursuit of what is right before God in heaven and man on this very earth, which is the restoration of Biafra. Some people think we are joking. Other people, of course, they have been thinking that since 2012. How mistaken they are. They have sent their saboteurs. They have tried to infiltrate us. Some of them have actually made it to, should I say, reasonable positions within IPOB. But the same God Almighty in heaven that guard this very movement from time to time reveal the true intentions of these charlatans. And as we identify them, we whip them away. They only have one fallback, which is a couple of fake Facebook accounts, which Facebook themselves are promoting, but they cannot succeed. They have not succeeded before. Now is not the time for them to start. Therefore, we are making it very clear. And allow me to reiterate this very evening that I have not mandated anybody to speak on my behalf and I will not be seeing nor speaking to Ojo Zokalo, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. I want to make that abundantly clear that the world may understand where we stand on these very issues. Anybody coming to me from the zoo, as soon as you open your mouth to say, will you consider dropping this very agitation, I can assure you, what happened to a Kuremadu will be a child's play. Your corpse will be carried away from wherever you come to meet me. That I can assure you. That I can assure you. Any idiot seeking relevance, 
any drunken fool who wants his or her name to be associated with IPOB or myself, and you think that the best way to do it is to insult the memory of those that have died in this very movement, then not only are you mistaken, you are hallucinating and you are insane. Certifiably insane, that is who you are. Fulani Caliphate will not be built in Biafra land. Even the one that Rodgers or Carlo gave them in law, Upu, that too will disappear. We don't want them anywhere occupying any piece of territory in our land illegally. It will not happen. Hausa people may have been foolish and allowed them to be overrun. Yoruba may have given them a part of a Lauren, or should I say, 10 local government areas in Kwara State. That nonsense cannot obtain in Biafra land. No inch of Biafra land will be cons considered, as you say, to Fulani Janjaweed. We are making it abundantly clear so that the world will understand us. This is the, should I say, the era of saboteurs. And we must all be very, very vigilant and extremely careful as to how we approach individuals and issues going forward. A lot of our people, either through ignorance, wickedness, or sheer stupidity, are part of this conspiracy for the Fulanese to overwhelm us, plant Islam forcibly in our land, and change our way of life forever and ever, as they did to Hausa people, to Nupe people, to Gwari people, as they did to parts of Yoruba land. They also do what they also want to do to us. But we are not going to allow that to happen, not now, not tomorrow, not ever. It is very, very distressing and shocking that Biafran people who are in the police and judiciary, especially in Abia State, are in the business of extorting money from people who have been arrested illegally, detained illegally, tortured illegally for fighting for their freedom. What is happening in Omoaya High Court, in the judiciary of Abia State, is a disgrace. What is happening in the prisons in Afara in my village is a disgrace. What is happening within the police in Abia State is a disgrace. You arrest innocent people. There is no evidence, no proof of wrongdoing. And what you people resort to is to extort money from us. The chief judge of Abia State, the director of public prosecution in Abia State, the judges and the magistrates you have in Abia State, especially in Omrah, your days are numbered. That I can assure you. You will not be forgiven. What people are doing is that the judiciary in Abia State are in concert, in cahoot with the police to arrest people and bring them to court. You can't believe what has been happening in the past few days. These are Igbo people in court in Omaha demanding and asking for money, exorbitant amount of money, all the way to half a million naira to release people who did nothing wrong. The court have given them bail to perfect their bail. These people, they are Igbo people, Igbo, not even any other part of Biafra land. Extorting money from their own people. In other words, encouraging the Fulani terrorist police and army to be arresting people so that they can be making money in Omaha High Court and at the prisons. Even the fool in prisons in Omaha, in Omaha prisons in, in Afara, is also in on the act. Because this evening I want the world to understand. That is how our madness starts. And when it starts, let nobody blame us. And as I'm very, very happy now that no idiot can come up to blame us for what we are doing. The controller of the prison services in Abia State, believe it or not, is Al Haji Kunle Sanusi. He's a Yoruba man. Kunle Sanusi is an Al Haji. Do you know what, what happens? Court will give you bail. We went to court yesterday and today to perfect the bail of the people that they've granted bail, people that did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong. 
this idiot in the prison Allah Hajikunle Sanusi will be charging our people to 2,000 naira each before he can allow them to walk out of the prison gate. Extortion of the highest order, extortion from the police, extortion from the from, from the judiciary, and extortion from the prison service. In other words, it is a plan. Whenever they see our people, they are arrested. It is a plan, a well orchestrated plan to make money for themselves. And this is the side and part of Yubo people that I don't want to see. When our, when our people want to be good, they're very good. When some of us want to be evil, we become worse than Lucifer. And we are going to set example with those of them and in Abia State Judiciary. Those of them that specialize in conniving with an oppressive, with conniving with the oppressor to extort money from their own people, people fighting for your freedom. This is a shame and a disgrace in Abia State. And it won't happen again, that I assure you. We are waiting for them to come. Anyway, of course, the police can go about harassing and abducting people unsuspectingly, so to speak. But one day, their luck will run out. All of them, their luck will run out very soon. If you are in doubt, ask them in Enugu and they will tell you. And we're not going to stop. This flag has been raised. The dragon flag has been raised and will never come down. And it is not my duty to tell you what is happening. Let the enemies tell you what is happening to them. Both those within and without. As a movement, I am telling you this Wednesday evening, by action I mean, let everybody understand this. Our children are not going anywhere on the 1st of October. We are not going anywhere, 1st of October. Never, nowhere, we are not going anywhere. No marching in Biafra land, 1st of October. None whatsoever. Any principal or headmaster or headmistress that wants to try, you want to get money from Fulani because they'll come to some of you and give you money, and you want to try your best to, to please uh, one Nigeria. Uh, that, how they are doing it is not good. It's not how they do it. That day you show us how to do it. Useless people, Fulani is in your backyard. The more you shout one Nigeria, the more Fulani gets closer to Atlantic Ocean. More one Nigeria from you, the closer they get to the Atlantic Ocean. Some of you cannot see that. Some of you don't know that because you're dumb. You're foolish. But we do. And we are not going to allow Fulani to use your foolishness to conquer our land. We won't let it happen. It's not going to happen. It won't happen. Not now, not, uh, not tomorrow. Now I want to ask the so called intellectuals, if they are and see maybe mad people, Akola, in the said they're intellectuals. I want to ask you a question. Do you remember there was a time we had the Roman Empire? Where is it today? Gone. We had the British Empire. Where is it today? Gone. France had empire. Where is it today, I ask? Gone. Communism has its own empire in USSR. Where is it today? It's gone. Communist edifices in Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, and the Big Brother USSR, oh, they have all collapsed. While Germany, Germany was even split into two, communism and capitalism before they united again. Such is the power of ethnic nationalism. People want to be free. In the future, they may come together. But for Britain to connive, for Britain to connive with Fulani, um, but now it's not possible. For Britain to connive with Fulani, Britain is there as a witness, as well as an accomplice to, to genocide and murder. And they are quiet. The British um, the British High Commissioner, that woman is evil, beyond evil. Evil woman. That is why any day we catch any van belonging to BBC in our land, we will teach them a lesson. BBC, you people are agents of neocolonialism. You think you can use your rubbish to enter into our land and divide our people and divide our land with your garbage? Go and reform Igbo Broadcasting Service in England. Or, 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 or yes, Igbo Broadcasting Service, English, uh, English version of it. 
useless people always begging, always at the, at the bottom, the lowest of the low. Was it not human beings that set up BBC? Can't you set up your own and employ them to work for you? People without shame, no class, no dignity, no decency. You don't have self-pride. Anything a white man gives to you, you accept. You are even grateful for it. And you think in Biafra land, you can push down that useless, garbage, white, supremacist nonsense on us because you're asking, you, you, there's BBC in your name? I live with them. I work, I manage them. Me and what they came and promised us heaven and earth. Wrote epistles, wrote, wrote very brilliantly, got into office and, and, and became a full and slave. We've seen all this garbage before. And we are not going to fall for that nonsense. We cannot fall for it. We cannot fall for that garbage. We are more than that. Fulani that was stealing. They are the one I have never come across any diplomat say that full and people are criminals. But here Magu is a thief. Amalami is a, a AG of the is a thief. They are, they are accusing themselves. Nobody has come out to say that full and people are criminals. Buhari, when he was alive, opened his mouth and said that anybody who is paying subsidy. That was what he said. Anybody who is paying subsidy is a fraud, is a criminal. The same idiot he paid subsidy before he died. All the fools now wearing face, face rubber mask off his face. They are paying subsidy and eating. Aisha is organizing wedding inside Asorok. All that, all that moral biting garbage is gone. Inside Asorok wedding, inside Asorok. Some of you are fooled. Honestly speaking, black people, we, we, are, we are useless. We are useless. We are very, very useless, I'm telling you the truth. We, we are dumb. Magu probe, I am ready to appear. This is Attorney General of the Federation. is a thief, a kleptomaniac, a, 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 a robber, onyoshi. These are, these are the fools that prescribe the IPOB. This is the joke because they knew that IPOB will expose them. They know that Radio Biafra will expose all they are doing. So the best thing for them to do is to keep you a fool of who's occupied with... IPOB prescription and tagging as a terrorist movement so that we cannot speak the truth. That was why they came to kill me. How many of you have they come to kill before? How many of you are asked? Mwokoko, everywhere. everywhere. In all democracy, there's always a quarrel. And the quarrel will prevail. We, we will settle it amicably as a family. Everybody will come back to the party, and the party will have back that good of honor. There is no problem. In PDP, we used to kill people when they are doing this thing, which is not good. People used to die. But in South East, nobody died. So we are very happy the Congresses came very well in South East and went very well. We can only fight anybody in Southeast who is not supporting our president. They are, whether they have the parallels APC anywhere in Nigeria, it doesn't make any meaning. They are all APC members and will sustain the membership by faith and by understanding.
Savior. Holy, 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 are the